I just sent him a text to see if he could call back in. All right, we're uh, on the air and on the record on the people of the state of Michigan versus Stephen Edward Lavender. Mr. Lavender was here uh, with his attorney, Mr. Mequio, and Mr. Gabriel as the prosecutor. Mr. Lavender was here for a status conference. He went into a breakout room with Mr. Mequio and uh, spent some time in the breakout room. And then when I brought them back out of the breakout room, Mr. Lavender disappeared and he's not in my waiting room now. But Mr. Mequio is aware of what the offer is and what the status is and we'll go from there and then he can convey it to his client. Um, and if there's a resolution, it can be set. Uh, agreeable, Mr. Uh, Mequio? It is your honor. Okay, and that's accurate, right? You spent about 10 minutes or eight, nine minutes with him in a breakout room, talked about it. And then when, that's I, correct, when you, your honor. you left what? and then I brought him out and then he just disappeared. Yeah, um, exactly, Your Honor. We uh, spoke. I went uh, over with the plea possibilities with the client and trial possibilities. And um, um, we had made a counter offer to the prosecutor. And if that's not acceptable, then it looks like this case, at least for now, is heading to trial. Okay. All right. And so uh, <clears throat> the charge is a charge of receiving concealing over stolen property over $20,000. It's a felony punishable by up to 10 years and or a fine of up to $15,000 or three times the value of the property, whichever is greater uh, to impose a fine of three times the value. The defendant must admit the amount or it must be determined by a trier of fact at trial. And uh, this has been up several times in the past so we're here today for the status conference. It's set for trial for June 8th. And your offer, Mr. Gabry, was? Your Honor, we would be willing to reduce the RNC charge down to RNC between 1,000 and 20,000. We would be willing to accept the plea of guilty to that charge and ask the court to delay sentence for the 11 months or close to a year that is um, available. During that time period, we would have no objection to a restitution hearing with the understanding that whatever the result of that hearing is, if the defendant were to make that restitution during the delayed time period, we would uh, reduce the charge to a misdemeanor. If it's not made, then we would proceed towards sentencing on the uh, reduced felony charge. Okay. That was conveyed and rejected. Is that right, Mr. McRio? That's correct, Your Honor. Our counter offer was to enter a plea uh, to a one year uh, misdemeanor. And that was conveyed and rejected by the prosecutor. That's correct. Okay, so uh, with nothing changes from either side, we're set for trial for June 8th. I have the witness list from the prosecution containing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14 witnesses, but I think seven or eight of those are officers. And I don't know how many of those you're gonna need. So uh, Mr. Gabry, uh, please look at your witness list and let me know. And Mr. Mequio, please get me your witness list as soon as possible. And then I'll be preparing the jury instructions and getting those out and uh, We'll prepare for trial for June 8th. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you.